welcome to the channel. I'm here today with Caleb. We're going to be doing a lesson on how to play Dim Changes. Uh, it's a super famous bass line. I thought it would be something that y'all would like to see on the channel. So we're going to be working with him. He's going to be showing us how to play it today. All right. Hey, everybody. So once again, we're going to be playing Dim Changes by Thundercat. Now, if you don't know who Thundercat is, he is an amazing bass player who is killing it right now. He's like worked with Kendrick Lamar on To Pimp a Butterfly. He has his own solo stuff. He's worked on just lots and like countless records, a lot of the Erykah Badu stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to be playing Them Changes, which is one of his more famous songs. And Well, before we get to the song, I noticed that you're holding a new Fender bass. Okay, so this different is... Different than this beautiful one that's over here now. Uh, right. <laughs> so this is pretty much my number one. This is a Fender American Elite series um they now change it to the american ult or the fender ultra series but pretty much it's like the workhorse like great for touring sessions like kind of do it all bass um it's a five string so it, we have a low b in here now Let me turn that off for a second so it's super low so you could play like a lot more like sub bass lines with, and it sounds great um yeah it's you know, just a jazz bass, so two pickups, you know, neck, middle, and we're not going to be worrying about the EQ too much. I'm staying on passive mode right now. Um, yeah, and with thund with that bass line, speaking of which, he is known for playing, or Thundercat is known for playing a six-string bass, like, like a hollow body, the next, like, this wide, but <laughs> you can play the bass line on a five-string also if you don't have a six-string readily available. Um, so, should we get started? Let's do it. All right, cool. So, without the effect on, which we'll get to that in a second, it sounds like this. Now, there are a lot of chords going on there, but what's nice is a lot of them use a very similar shape. We have a B major 7 shape. G minor 7 shape, and A flat minor 7 shape, F minor 11 shape, and an E flat minor 11 shape. So those are basically the same sh the same shape on the instrument, you yeah. just slide it down. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of just like similar chords, but you're just moving up the fretboard and it sounds really cool. And that's something that Thundercat is known for doing and just having like really like these amazing sounding chords that are just like, and it's a similar shape, but it's just ascending. So it sounds, you know, cool. It sounds really cool. Right. Um, minor 11. Mm-hmm. Yeah, minor 11. He does like the sharp 11. Or, that's a good one. So, with my right hand, I am doing a, well, here's how it sounds. Now, with my right hand, I kind of have it in this, like, pseudo, like, classical guitar playing fashion. Um, so what I'm doing is I have, for the first chord, for instance, for that B major 7 that we were playing, I have my thumb on the low B, my index on the A string, my middle on the D string, and my ring finger on the G string. Now, what I'm doing is thumb, index, and then pluck with the other two, so. The middle and the ring? Yeah. And then same with the G minor. Same with the other one. Um, and then when I'm going for the F minor 11 and the E flat minor 11, they're similar, but instead of doing it on the B string, I'm doing it on the E string. So my thumb is on the E string, I should say. So. And then for that E flat minor, because he holds that chord longer, you can just, with all of your, you can just pluck them all with your fingers. So, all together. Another 
other thing you could do with those chords that sounds really cool if you want to mix it up instead of just playing this pattern over. Once you get the hang of that, you could start um, arpeggiating the chord, which means you're just playing each note individually. So what I'm doing is... That's just straight through all your fingers. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm doing thumb, index, middle, and ring. Just each one individually. And I would say just practice doing that just with the first chord so you get comfortable with it. And then once you get the hang of it, you can move around the shape. Yeah. And then to tie it all together, we can add this thing called an envelope filter. Right now I'm using the Maris Enzo, which is a synth pedal that does a lot of really fun stuff, but it also has an envelope filter, and really any envelope filter you have will kind of do the job. Uh, so it goes from to this. And pretty much that's how you play them changes. Awesome, man. Great yeah. job. Cool. So that's going to conclude up the video for today. Hope you really enjoy learning that song, and I hope that you can definitely, uh, you know, take some use from that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to play the intro clip one more time here at the end. Super zoom down on his hand so you can slow it down on YouTube. I don't know if you know that you can change the playback speed. You can slow it down so you can actually play along with him and, mm -hmm. and try to really dive into that yeah. Thundercat feel. All right, everyone. So have a great day and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.